What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today, we're going to go over the market, and guys, the market is up so much. So before we get into the video, let's smash that like button. Let's hit 50 likes, man. This video is going to give you a lot of information on the market, clearly going to make you MT. And um, yeah, they pretty much, they just released some new challenges, man. I am level 27. I have been grinding my ass off, and yes, um, I'm going for Blake. As you guys can see, I am way ahead of schedule. You need about 25,000 XP. Per week i already have 26,600, and i'm about to get trey young so um once we do get trey young expect the gameplay we are going to get him very very soon but yo without further ado man let's get in the market if you guys need mt i am selling mt i'm also doing any grinding services so if you need any grinding services and or mt make sure to hit me up i am buying and selling mt but oh yo let's get into the market man i want to talk about one card and one card only, it's John Wall. I mean, he's just so expensive. Um, I do have one. He's going for 317K on Xbox. To be honest, if you didn't see my tweet, man, I literally went off. I dropped 65 and 15 in a damn unlimited game with this John Wall. He is absolutely incredible. He's almost unguardable. Um, as you guys can see, I do have John Wall right here, man. John Wall is like i have no words this card is insane I, I he's just insane he's the best card ever um he's just so good in like every single way he's amazing but for that price at 317k i would 110 percent not recommend getting him i mean he's just a little bit too expensive just try not to get him he's just too expensive so try to stay away from this john wall um, if you have him, make sure to sell him. If you didn't do his sub challenges yet, I already did all my challenges for him. And I am now about 1500 short for my man, Trey Young. You don't understand how bad I do want that card. But, um, anyways, let's get to some more market. Let's talk about the diamonds, man. Um, so they released Desmond Mason yesterday, Isaiah Ryder. Those cards are still pretty damn expensive. I would recommend selling them. Um, they probably will drop, especially when super packs come out in about a month. But uh, they will definitely drop. And also, down below in the comments, make sure to let me know um, what you guys are trying to snipe. That's what I'm wondering. Like, what are you guys trying to snipe? And are you going for uh, Blake Griffin? That's what I want to know. Um, another card that I was looking at, man. Giannis Antetokounmpo is up big time, guys. Today. Literally, today is like the best day you could possibly sell any card you want. Like, it is now the time to sell. It is such a good time to sell regardless on anything. Like... You have to sell today. It is just such a good idea. Uh, let's look at Manu Ginobili, guys. I'm honestly kind of giving up on this Manu. I honestly don't think he's going to go up that much more, to be honest with you. There isn't that many on the auction. I don't know. I already, I'm already going to make MT off every single Manu. But I just don't think he's worth holding on to. I have a gut feeling he might just drop down even more. I think it's a good time to sell your Manus. I'm probably going to sell my Manus. Get 100k for him. Just because, honestly... I'm going to need the MT sooner or later, man. I'm going to need the MT, so I'm most likely going to sell all my Manus. But Dominique Wilkins is by far the rarest. He's very rare. Um, not only is he rare, he's really good. So as you guys can see, man, an hour, 21 minutes, this Dominique, man, has super, super crazy value. And um, especially if yours is badges like mine, like, it's legit, man. It's, it's kind of crazy. So here's my Dominique. He has a pretty decent amount of badges. He's very good, guys. He's going to go up in value. Um, as you guys can see, there's not many on the auction if you can snipe one. Here's a little snipe filter, man. Small forward pink diamond. We got James Worthy on here. We got Dominique Wilkins on here. And you guys should most definitely try out the snipe filter. It's definitely worth the try. Um, also, you should sell your cards for Friday because Friday, we're going to have a market crash. We're probably going to get the new idols pack. Mono Ginobili might go down in price. He might rise in price. I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to sell him because I'm kind of nervous about that card. He hasn't really won. He did go up from uh, Thursday. He was dirt cheap Thursday. He was around 70K. He's up to 100K now. So if you didn't get him for 17K or 70K on Thursday, make sure to sell him now because it's a very, very good idea. But um, here's a small forward filter, man. Small forward pink diamond. Definitely good filter. We also got point guard pink diamond. 
uh, for John Wall. Um, it's a very good, very, very good small forward. We also have diamond. Uh, you also do a diamond enabled dunkers filter. That's also another very good filter. I was using it yesterday. I didn't have any luck on it though. Um, you can put your maximum buyout to around 85k. It was a lot better yesterday because Desmond Mason and both Isaiah Ryder were not buyouts. So uh, looking at this filter, man, we got Desmond Mason, Isaiah Ryder. They did drop big time. I guess a lot of people did end up doing the solos. But uh, Desmond Mason, man, thank God I sold him last night. I got him for like 80 something k. He's now at 69k. So if you guys want, try out this snipe filter. There's gonna be a lot of action. A lot of people are doing these solos. So if you want, definitely try out this snipe filter. Um, we got another snipe filter I want to talk about. It's the clamps snipe filter. I actually pulled a clamps in a free pack the other day. I think it was two days ago, and uh, I saw it going for 20k. So if you guys want, some badges are going for crazy amounts. Like this silver brat, this silver uh, clamps. I sold for 20k. It's that it's dropping. So I think there's gonna be a little more action since a lot of people are grinding for solos and whatnot. There's gonna be a little bit of action on this filter. And honestly, guys, range extender. You guys gotta get your hands on range extender. If you can snipe out range extender, you're gonna make crazy MT. That's all I want to do right now is just try to snipe out a range extender. Because if I could get range extender and add it to a good player, you're gonna be goaded. Like right here. Range extender is actually dropping in value. I don't know why. I guess they're slowly dropping more in packs. Uh, but it's really OP. If you have the MT to put it to like a very good player that can shoot already, it's OP. It's literally so cheese. So range extender is something I really want on most of my players. And if you can get it, man, for like 10K, make some MT off range extender, it's going to be easy money. It's going to be very easy money. So trial range extender. It's a very big possibility you could get something. Um, so there's a lot of low-key badges. If you have some in your collection, if you grind for XP, you pop packs, there's a lot of low-key badges in your collection. I'm telling you right now, I found a bunch of low keys in my collection, and I'm going to make a lot of MT off them. Like Handles for Days is actually a pretty good value. Trappers are pretty good value. There is a ton of badges that are good value. And also, man, um, let's go over a little bit more of the auction, man. I want to go over Carl Anthony Towns. I want to go over Yao Ming. Because they are actually key cards to the to the XP level, and they're actually very good in the game in general. So honestly, I do love Yao Ming. He's gonna go for around like 25k, and honestly, I think I'm gonna pick one up because he does have an XP challenge that isn't hard, and he's also 7-6. So for the time being, I think I'm going to pick up myself a Yao Ming. He's just way too cheap for his height. And um, I honestly feel like he's going to go up in value. So for 25k, I'm probably going to get him for a little cheaper. I'm definitely going to pick up a Yao Ming. I'm also definitely going to pick up a Carl Anthony Towns because he is a stretch shooter that is very athletic. So let's go over Carl Anthony Towns. And uh, Carl Anthony Towns' price did go up a tiny bit. It's most definitely uh, a good time to pick up Carl Anthony Towns. Um, pretty much him and Yao Ming are the only cards I'll pick up now. Every single other card I would sell. Um, I just have faith in these cards, man. Since when did I have Moses Malone? I could have swore I sold him so long ago. Oh yeah, I sniped him out. So here we go. Carl Anthony Towns compared to Moses Malone. He's better in shooting in every stat. And then defensively, he's obviously going to be worse. But perimeter-wise, he's going to be better. And I think he's a lot faster. Oh wow, Moses Malone's actually a lot faster. But speed of ball, he's faster. But yo, this cat, he is a little taller. He literally has pretty much the same badges as Moses Malone. It makes no sense to me. He pretty much is the same bad as Mose Malone, and he's also way cheaper, and he also could shoot the ball way better. So in my opinion, it's a must-cop. Same with Yao Ming, man. 7-6. I versed him last night using a 6-11 center. I got smoked. He dropped like 40 points. I couldn't cover him with anybody. So that's another thing why you need Yao Ming in a game. If you're playing competitively, you need someone that tall in the game. It's just simply the most OP thing possible. So guys, right now, looking over the market, man, there's just so much to do. Try selling your cards. Get on the XP grind, man. I'm telling you, the XP grind is worth it, man. But anyways, other than that, that's all we got for the video. If you have any market talk questions, man, let me know down below. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to be up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.